Yeah. Look, if you roll with me, you're stiff. If you roll with me, you're solid. I got a scholarship, I went to UNT, then I brought my whole hood to college. Look, half my partner's mob, but I treat them just like fam. Don't ever get it confused, I love God, but you can still catch these hands. Look, Papa's told me I'm the man. I just chose to believe him. I met God, got real with fat, then I told the Boppers I don't need him. Gave him early dismissal, earned my stripes like officials. I don't flow, boy, I spit up pistols for all my partners packing pistols. Eat the beat to the gristle, spit it out, catch the next one. I use peace for direction, ain't got peace for protection. Ooh, haters peep the progression. They get salty like Epson, swear the style ambidextrous. All my dogs fly, like Jetson. And it ain't no lie, and they down the ride. We create the time. My dog's from the H Astro. Got my psyche from Ashlo. You the type that they blast at. I'm the type that they blast for. About to cause a fiasco. Cops some merch help my cash flow. Trash rappers getting sunned. This the hate, I'm your dad flow. Everything I do macro, not micro. I'm a cyclone on the mic zone in the dice roll. They say I ate like an iPhone. I'm just trying to hit milestones. Devil call, he get down tone. I glow like Prince Hakeem and fat my queen. She out here getting her Lisa McDowell on. And it ain't no lie. And she down the ride. We create the time. Yeah, look, catch the wave like a short trip. Don't want point like a swordfish. I need all trash wrapped to forfeit. Every beat I touch make the marks list. Mike about to be on the Forbes list. Jeff got the flame like the torch lit. And we was raised to box like a forklift. Oh, yeah. So watch how you handle the king. Swear to God, in my school days, I wasn't too safe. I blue jays, no Canada team. Oh, yeah. Now the man on which I use my country grandma make them speak in tongues like Panda. Oh, they believe in me like Santa. Oh, got the juice like Tropicana. Oh, my partners touch my weight than Vanna. Oh, Hopefully they meet Hosanna. Ooh, me and Fat they cold as tandem. Ooh, Mama low key wanna found them. Ooh, me and Reese be hella random. Ooh, they should play this like the anthem. Ooh, they should, they should play, play this, this like the anthem. anthem. And it ain't no lie. It ain't no lie. And we down the ride. We down the ride, bruh. We create the time. Be the way. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Today's topic, we're here to talk to Nick, my kennel partner, Mr. Angry Inc., which I'm added to the stream right now Hello. as we speak. What's going on, fam? I see you got that wireless in. You got that for Christmas? No. <laughs> Yo, this is like a $20 joint, but it's the best one that I've ever bought. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, shit's on the um, you know, the Apple joints, dude. I can't even wear them. I can't hear nothing. Hey, hey so, get the fuck out of here. So we uh yeah, just I'm had good. we just had Ashton uh, on. Yeah, I'm now we Ashton have on. Nick. We have yeah, Nick. Man. We have Nick on, and uh, this was uh supposed to happen last week. Yeah. You know, I had you know the pups going on, everything just. The holidays is going on. There's just too much going on at the time, but we're here now, you know. Uh I I wanted I want to say this before we go forward. Nick is uh I, I'm probably I probably said this before, and y'all probably heard this before, but Nick has accomplished so much in the American bully community. He's um done a lot within the time span, uh just it's been about six years that we've been in uh, the dog, the dog world and showing for maybe five. We've been showing for five years. And from what this man has accomplished by producing, uh, I think, two grand champions. Um, yeah, we have Larry and uh, Marshall. Grant. How many? Cha- how many champions have you produced? Reggie. Wolf, B. That might be it. There's 
is that four? So five, 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 five champions. So five two grand, champ- two grand, five champions. champions, five two grand champions. champions. Like, go ahead, go ahead, and then listen. Lay, lay out, lay out. Lay, go ahead and lay out for for our listeners, uh, what 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 you've what you've done in this game. Let, let's let's start from the you know beginning, if you can, to where you are right now. Shit, <laughs> much later. Go ahead, man. We got time, man. Does it got time? Go ahead. Yeah, we start. I started from the bottom. I mean, I bought. American Belize from the pet, uh, which was king. And, uh, you know, I never intended on selling at all. And then, uh, the guy that I bought him off, Danny Guerrero, was like, oh, he's pretty nice. Bring him out to a show. And I'm like, man, I see shows at my work. <laughs> These people are fucking weird. I'm not going to no goddamn dog show. Uh, he ended up talking me into it. We went. I fell in love with it right then and there. I probably did about nine months worth of dog shows before I actually got in the ring. Um, showed King a little bit. He never really did nothing. Um, but it got me going into the game. So I ended up buying a female. Um, had an identical breeding between my female and my male. And actually produced champions all off of the litter. Um, they just ended up in the right homes. and They look good. So champing out um you know since i got my first true champion when i bred my bitch to waffle house um I mean, the rest is history for me i got my two grands and my first female champion off of that uh, i bred to power play bully doom with my female champion off waffle house miss buttersworth i produced woofy off of that breeding um she's unbelievable I'll have her in our own town this week. I don't put her in the champ class. I don't know if she actually does. But, uh, you know, it's just all history. I'm just looking forward to the future. What I can do with her, what I can produce with her. I got her lined up to go with uh, Papa Pit Soldier. I think that breeding is going to really blow up for me. I think go ahead and tell everybody that, that I think people that went over people's head what you just said, what, who you're breeding. The breeding to uh, Papa Pit Soldier. The boy is the truth. I don't know if you've seen him, but that motherfucker is really nice. I suggest you look him up. You can look him up on uh, OG Ramos on Facebook. And last I seen, it was definitely his, uh, his uh, profile picture. Hey, get out of there. I got these puppies out playing and shit. <laughs> so, so I was, was there. I was there. You were there was for, it, for all you, of it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you were the one who hired me to. To even take a look at Waffle House and you know um, do that breeding, it was it was you who brought him to my attention. Yeah, I was I I I, I hyped him up pretty good for you, man. <laughs> hey, listen, best hype up job that led up to you know proven results. Because <laughs> most of the time people hype shit up. He didn't have well, I think he only had the litter yeah, one, that yeah, one he, breeding. Well, you had the female from it, right? And he had that, the, uh, the male twin. went to you to the UK. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the kid Aaron ended up with him for a little bit. Aaron Lee. Shout out to Aaron yeah. Lee. Just knock yeah, somebody cool. out. <laughs> Dude, his bare knuckle beef. <laughs> Just knock somebody <laughs> out. His bare knuckle. Shout out to our brethren. Shout out to our brethren in, in Europe and Mr. Aaron Lee. You know he's the man right there, man. That's my guy. But uh, sorry about that. Um. So nah, I, I, I I was there when you actually um they like you said did all of it and it was an amazing yeah, yeah. thing to see uh and you've you accomplished what I'm trying to accomplish because man you've accomplished what I'm trying to accomplish too so we're filling no 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 no, no 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 <laughs> you produce those males you understand yeah, what I'm produce, saying you produce uh uh you know majesty. I produce Majesty. I produce Gorilla Zoe. Gorilla uh, Zoe. I've yet to. I mean, my. I, I. I envy the Majesty breeding and what you accomplished by producing her because that's like my next goal. I mean, I've done so much. You've done so much. Uh, you want to. This is male this this this, this, this is this is not. A, I'm gonna cut you off. I know people say this is rude. Somebody said this is rude. Cut you off. 
But this is not about <laughs> me. <man. laughs> no, nah, actually, actually, somebody, uh, we our last um interview, yeah. somebody said it, I was and I and I, I, you know, as it was a little delay, but cool. I learned oh, from yeah. you know, it's like you know, I said, okay, you know, I'm 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 a you know, let my people talk because I do talk over people, you know, so it's something oh, something I need to learn how to let people finish. And um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> this is not my, this is not about me. This, this, this interview is not no, basically I know. about me. It's, this is about, this is about your accomplishments, man. You've, you've done, you've produced two grand champions and five champions. Listen. Shit. That whole I'm, litter could have changed. Yeah, my whole Waffle House litter could have changed. Shit, I'm about to bring fucking Dre's ass out, bro. His other brother, I gave him to my boy because it was down to Marshall Larry, and then at the time we were calling his boy DD12. <clears throat> and um, originally, my boy DJ was supposed to get a female, which she would end up with Miss Buttersworth. When we sent her to his house, she would not shut up. He's like, Yo, I cannot keep this dog. <laughs> I said, All right, all right, I'll come back. I'll get her. So I took her. Um, she was driving him crazy. So uh, I took her. Kept her heel marshal, which, you know, obviously she would have literally the street just chilling, uh, shaking and crying and shit. Um, so I had that boy TV12 here, and we couldn't distinguish what dog was best out of the three males that were still here. And I'm like, man, I don't know. So I was like, you know what? This boy, the DJ, yeah, you take him, right? Sold Randy his dog, Larry Hoover, grand champion, and uh, kept Marshall here. Larry and Marshall are unbelievable. Um, Dre just took more time to develop. And uh, who used to be TV12, his name's Dre. So he took more time to develop. But man, this boy is a force over here. <laughs> My boy ended up renting a room from me. He has the dog still. So he was back here with me again, which is fine by me. What's one more? <laughs> What's right. one more? Um, but the way he developed over time, bro, this dog is just huge. I really want to throw him in the classic class just to see what he does. Really. But uh we never even sent his paperwork in. <laughs> so I hit up you, Deanna a couple weeks ago. <laughs> you motivated me to be Well, that's what my, my you, next you, move right now is trying a grand with Wolf. So, you know, she my production, you, she's a champion. You motivated me to stay on my toes. Yeah, well, because, we talked shit to each other. We weren't, we weren't both Duval then. We nah, were, and, <laughs> I was like, was okay, all right, man. This dude got some nice dogs, man. I gotta be on my game. I thought actually you was, you showed because you do what you was talking about way over the. I I was learning stuff from you, so I was like, oh, I was learning stuff from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, that's a, that's like the beauty of the game. Is as long as you link with the right people, you're gonna learn from each other. When you link with the wrong people, you are either getting misinformation or you know being told not to do something that you want to do. You know, I I had people tell me not to breed the waffle house. Don't breed to him. He's a little dog and da 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 da. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. I want <laughs> I want pockets, man. Just because you like a big ass dog, don't mean I do. But, you know, um, like you said, you did a hell of a job hyping him up for me. And uh, just his head alone, bro. When I look at it, when you look at his head, like when I looked at his head then, I didn't know all that, <laughs> all that much. You know what I mean? Yeah, nice dog. Thank God for uh, uh, Bullypedia. Because if it wasn't for Bullypedia, I would have even known where to go and look for them, you know, who owned what dog to, you know, go and see them. And Bullypedia definitely. Being able to see Garfield and Warren G and Bojangles and all that, like, you know, it helps solidify your decision. But, uh, yeah, it's just wild. <laughs> so, two, 2022 is, is, is going to be a big year for you from what I'm, I'm seeing behind, behind closed doors, but our public is not really seeing it. But from what yeah, I'm seeing, know. that you're going to have a nice 2022. These two boys that are at my house right now are just unreal. My keeper, he's fucking, he's crazy. I got them walking around out here right now in the kitchen, messing with 
shit. But, uh, yeah. That's just added titles. Uh, uh, yeah, I know I know how you are. I know the perfection, perfection <laughs> that you are. You're just adding more titles to your yard. And, and people don't understand this. Pe- this is flying over people's head. People talk about this person is the best person. That, but a lot of people, I'm going to say it, man. A lot of people that are revered in the show show world are handlers. They're not producing yeah. champions and grand champions. They are showing some other are. people's some dogs. Are. Yeah. Some some yeah. are. It's not there's yeah. there's not many uh handler breeders that are actually uh within within their first 5 years that's produced two grand champions and um five champions. Come on. You're just yeah, being no. modest if you said it's happening like that. I mean, I've heard, like, dude, like, Chris White, bro, the, the amount of champions that guy produced, I think, like, I think he said it was, like, in his first seven years, it was, like, in the 20s or something like that. It's just crazy. Yeah, isn't that French Bulldogs, but, though, right? Yeah, I think pretty uh, We're not talking about French Bulldogs. Big, we're not big, talking big, about French Bulldogs. Bulldogs. We're talking about American bullies. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> New breed. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, th- yeah. this is the accomplishment. Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not, don't, don't dull it, man. Yeah. I know you're a modest guy, man, but don't dull your I accomplishment. Try, don't dull your accomplishment. We're trying to celebrate you today, man. We're sell. This is your day right now. Talk too much shit when it backfires. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to produce mad champions. And all of a sudden your God just falls off. <laughs> no, I mean, see, but we're not doing it like that. We're really doing it. No, classy. No, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're trying to be, we're trying to be, what my job is to do is to to enlighten the community on what you have done. You know, there's a lot of people there hasn't man. There is prop. There's a single digit percentage of people within their first five years that's grand champ, two dogs and five champions. It's it's yeah. in the single digit percentage. I'm sure to some people it might seem like a lot. I mean. You know, to someone who's never won a best in show, one best in show is like, oh shit. Because it's hard, man. That ain't easy to fucking do. You don't know how blessed you are to be leaving them fucking shows with all them trophies and shit. I worked hard to get that. That was like, that was my goal for a while. I just wanted a, not a best in show. I wanted a breed. Just so it happened, they both came on the same day, um, which was obviously nice. Um, and <laughs> And the part that really sucked for me was I take more pride in my handling than my producing, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. Just on the, I guess it's just the feeling of being in the ring and getting that W, you know what I mean? Rather than, eh, I got a little. <laughs> like, I was watching Reggie and Randy fucking kick ass, and I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Obviously, I was happy. You, you see my reaction when he won like his first best in show, uh, best in breed when we were in uh, Maryland. I wasn't there. <laughs> I gotta go I, get my glasses. I'm I crying. cried. I I actually I cried. I had to go get my glasses. I was like, okay, nobody knows nothing. I would have looked like the puffy eyed little kid that just left <laughs> all on the pictures <laughs> for the breed with. <laughs> oh, what's up? What you do? Get stung by a bee? <laughs> you, you 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 motivated me to get my game right to to actually uh you're you're part of my motivation to uh do the line where I'm trying to breed to where I'm trying to do right now you know yeah with waffle yeah, yeah. it's always yeah. going to be waffle oh, yeah. house but it's 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 with we're all doing it with the twist yeah you know I'm what so i'm locked. saying I'm, I'm so locked on waffle in my yard it's not even funny but it's, it's, i mean yeah i'm I'm on my three, my first, like, you know, three-time Waffle House breeding. And, uh, I mean, I have to get me wrong yet. I haven't gotten a king tail doubling up or tripling up. I mean, this, this, is, a, this is a pretty close breeding. Um, this is Marshall back to his sister's daughter, uh, who's bred back to Houdini. So it's B to Houdini. So you got two-time Waffle there. Hey, go easy, you psychopath. Um. And then, uh, you know, I got Marshall going back to his knees, and I, I have no pride in show. So, you know. How does it feel to have the reputation like. The 
how does it feel to have the reputation to when you go to a show or not even go to a show? Yeah, I know your inbox is blows up, you know, with different questions and different yeah. how does that how does that actually feel that people rely on you for for answers to to questions that's very important to them when it comes to these dogs and this dog community? I mean, it kind of makes you feel like you accomplished something a lot along this uh, crazy friggin' journey. Um, I came from knowledge that you know people seek you out to uh, to attain themselves. I mean, shit, I can't even tell you how many dogs I saved. It's kind of crazy, but uh, so that number climbed <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Um, but just just having that knowledge and being able to help, you know, sometimes. I get hit up by people who I don't necessarily like them. Um, and regardless if I like them or not, I'm going to give them, you know, a real answer if I have it because of the fact that I'm doing it for the dog. I ain't doing it for, you know, whoever. I ain't doing it for the person. I'm doing it for the dog. Uh, I'm about the breed. And I filled my head with a bunch of uh, outside of the dog with useless shit. <laughs> really? Uh, we all have, but, you know, I just like to be able to help out and shit and I appreciate when people see that and view me as it's helpful to them, their program, whatever, um, their dog. Feels good. <laughs> to answer your question, uh, it feels good. It's nice. It's nice to uh, be appreciated uh, and be thought, uh, thought uh, out. Like, you was with, in Duval Bullies since, like, the beginning. Like, how does it's it feel about, to see I had a couple other <laughs> hey, well sure to clear to clear to clear it up it, the start the start of Duval bullies was tone pre and Marco look at that goddamn dog man how old is that, that dog crazy. they're uh 11 weeks yo look at this dog man do you see what this is what this dude does on a consistent basis and it goes. <laughs> this is listen, the one go, <laughs> This, this goes over keeper. people's head. Hey, pick up your keeper. Let me see the keeper. Yo, him. That, he's nice. He's big. His rear isn't as nice as his. His head's the best, hands down. But this boy right here, not as nice of a head and muzzle. But this is what what's up, Chris? Like when he was a puppy. So Marshall looked more like this when he was a pup. This puppy just looks like Marshall now. It's crazy. Man, look, look at the like shoulders that. on that dog. Look at the girth on that dog. Yeah, he's a big boy, bro. No, nah, you, this you, this is, you stepped it up. Bro, I didn't think it was going to hit like this. I wanted to see what I was going to get. You know what I mean? I know what I got when I put um, Houdini to... Uh, to be and like that boy Azul is just freaking mind blowing. Um, in my opinion is a little overdone. I haven't seen him. They took some weight off of him. So, uh, man, hopefully, yeah. he, uh, hopefully he looks he looks better now. Um, he just that boy is crazy. I'm telling you, everybody who sees Azul is like, that's a that's a shot fired pup, right? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, it's not. It just looks just like him, but pocket form, but like crazy. God damn, but I knew what I got with that. I tried to apply the same concepts going into this breeding with Marshall. I just like I bumped Marshall stud P up, so I won't not so I think people sound stupid when they go close to the public and then you see them post, you know, <laughs> 50, 60 breedings after the dog's been closed for three years. But uh, so I won't close them, but I put them up to thirty five hundred. Um uh, unfortunately. The way his breedings landed, people who had his dogs, uh, who had his puppies, didn't get into showing, or COVID hit and kind of you know, really put a halt to you know his puppies actually getting into the show ring, which he has some really nice pups out there. Um, I hope COVID doesn't well, do it. Home, I nah, I think I think it's I think we're beyond shutting everything down again. Uh, I think they're just going to let us deal with it and suffer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope so, man. This, this disease, is this, 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 whatever they want to call it, 
infection. It's screwing everything it's, up. It's, it's it's a political thing, depending on where you go. Yeah, it's so, mostly a political yeah. agenda, where depending on what area you go in, what state you go in. So depends it's more on. than it's News more than you listen to. <laughs> But, but that's yeah, another you know, topic for a whole nother show. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, like um, I was saying, I mean, so I feel like I'm gonna breed him better than anybody else is gonna breed him, uh, simply because I know that I have the recipe sitting here, and uh, if I just bump them up to 35, so less people will use them, and uh, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Nobody else that said they were gonna do certain stuff did. Well, they couldn't. They were prevented from doing it. So how how else are you gonna do shit? Do it yourself, <laughs> man. Hey, get out there. Man, do it my I know. Self. I know. I know. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I learned from you, man. It's, it's, I'm I'm just ultimately grateful, and I I'm honored to have you on to to just celebrate you, to talk about you and not just the, a certain that. topic, because at the end of the day, you've, a, man, I think that just five flies words, over bro. people's head, man, that you and you within your five years, within <laughs> five years of being in the bully game, you produce two champ. You not, I bought shots fired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just put in the work. But you actually produce. This is a more respected feat in the game. Uh, and I'm I'm be just be keep it a G, you know what I'm saying? Keep it a buck and just say, like, yo, you produced two grand champions and five champions within the same length of time I've been in the dog game. And it's not just me because it's a hard feat, but I'm it, it, it's, uh, yeah. it's 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 I'm saying for people that's been in the game and showing that we've know that we know that's been in the game for yeah. years, 10, 15 a, a years. Big, a big contributing factor to that is the dogs going into the houses and homes that are going to get those dogs out into the public eye and in the show ring. More importantly, you ain't gonna, you know, <laughs> shit if. They ain't showing the dog. I don't care how nice it is. It's not going to be a champion. The dog never gets shown. So, I mean, a lot of it's dumb luck. A lot of it's trusting in other people and putting the dogs in the right places. Like this litter right here with these guys, I basically co owned everything off that litter. Um, you know, so the dude that you have that you work with at the, uh, at the Bowen Alley, Paulie and his wife, you know, I told them no neuter in the dog. I gave them a good price on the dog just to keep them keep them intact so if i want to use them i can use them and they're cool with that once they see marshall they kind of like yo, yo he's a like badass this, male like, too hey. man hold on let me see yeah. if i can so that's the other one off these these two that's their brother cut out oh head. but uh you this doing? is him right here oh yeah yeah i can't see it <laughs> yeah, the camera. Yeah, I got the camera. I got the little, camera kind of way off. So yeah, he was. Uh, they, to... take, they take him everywhere with him. So it's a good home, and I still got my my miss on him. That female that I uh, hooked Chino up with, we co-owned her, and then I got um. Hey, get out of there! And then I got uh the female in California. She if uh if if, if Chino would have pulled the trigger earlier. Because <laughs> I was offering them first pick. I'm like, yo, Jake is a bitch, man. I'm telling you. She is bad. And um, it's a good pairing out there. I like his male. He's got some uh, masterpiece blood out there. The dude in California. Some uh, Tones Chevy breeding. Yo, I don't know if you've seen Cal Harris's dog. That's off of Larry. But it's Larry um, to, uh, to uh, Masterpiece granddaughter, I'm pretty sure. This boy is seven months old. My God. My God. He's a beast, bro. I was like, yo, how old is that dog? Dude, the seven months. I was like, what? Oh, damn. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm so glad that dog is out in Cali because I guess two pup back off of that. So basically doing the same type of breeding, but instead of it, a uh, masterpiece granddaughter, we're doing a masterpiece grandson to uh, you know, same blood. 
hopefully uh I get half them results. Boy, I'll be keep that. So how but, far is masterpiece yeah. in and how far is masterpiece in this in their blood? In their blood Well, so I am pretty sure he's so it's all right, Tone did the uh Chevy to masterpiece breeding, right? Uh-huh. So uh-huh. uh a female went to Tommy. Um then they did Waffle uh, I'm sorry, they did Tiny to that um that Chevy masterpiece daughter. And he has a he has a male off of that out in Cali, um, Sacramento area, the bay somewhere out there. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a masterpiece Corinthum, which that's what Cal's breeding was. It was Larry to a masterpiece granddaughter. So basically, we're doing that same breeding, flipping it, and it'll also be what kind of Waffle House, uh, you know up front and back all around and then uh and then uh masterpiece on the top so we'll see what happens man i know what's gonna happen you talking about let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens let's see what i happens. mean every breeding's kind of a kind of a gamble i'm feeling like i'm starting to understand find your stride my shit. yeah i'm understanding my shit um you know a lot of it has to do with Vinny back there. Um, that dog is just unbelievable. And, you know, proofs in the pudding. So how did it feel <laughs> to have your dog in Nationals? That uh, was, that, you know, it- like I said, that shit was like, phew. when I went into the pocket grand champ class with Marshall, like the, the highest compliment that was paid to me like, when I came out of the ring, because I, I made the cut. Uh, flu gave me the cut. Shit, I was like, yeah, I got a got a partner out here, and uh, then John Wayne made the cut, and I was like, shit, this is fucking dope. Like, we got three waffles. That's all I wanted to do really was make a cut, and I figured, you know, I was gonna make a cut with Woofy. This was Marshall's third Nationals. We never made a cut. Um, but shit, that boy was on his game. I came out. It was like the highest compliment. Better than, better than uh, like making the cut, making the cut again, like, bro, it was better than that. I came out, I went right back to the booth, we were ringside, and uh, Tone was like, shit, the look that he had on his face when I was walking up, I was like, what? He's like, you made the cut. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I was just out there. I said, how'd he look? He's like, surprisingly, the best. <laughs> I said, all right, word. And I went back, I watched that footage. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I only showed him once. That was when we were in, uh, Virginia, and I only showed him on day two. Tone talked me into it, and then um, you know I didn't show him at all. And usually he's like he's a ball hawk. That boy will fucking knock a wall over to get a, a ball all day. And uh, he gets in the ring and he's like, get that shit out of my face. He doesn't want anything to do with a ball or nothing. And he was going for the ball at nationals, so it was nice to see him in there. He was happy. He did his thing. Uh, you know, we made two cuts with him, and then uh, I was one of two that got picked out of the uh, female pocket champion class with Wolf, and uh, the other female that uh, Hannah was handling. No, I'm sorry, not Hannah. Um, Viviana was handling. Um, she got the reserve when we went in with, you know, uh, the variety, and uh, so my in my in my view of things uh you know wolf was the second best female champion uh female pocket champion at nationals Shit, i'll take that all day I was yeah i'll take that hey, man, that's what's up <laughs> you don't get yeah. nothing for it you know what i mean you don't get you get a pat on the back and some love from your kennel partners when you get back and you see a boot and, no you know, no just, you you might not get nothing victory. from it you might not get nothing victory. from it, but you really do get something from it from the from the people yeah. who see it. You know, from your peers, yeah. they see they see that's very important. Like you said, you got a compliment that meant more than making the cut. Just imagine, oh, yeah. just imagine the people who I've talked to who said, "Yo, Marshall looked like a beat." How many people you woke up with Marshall at national? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, who was that again? Cause I don't bring them out like that. You know what I mean? I really don't. Uh, I bring them two shows because <clears throat> my boy, will, you know, he keeps an eye on the other dogs and shit for me when I'm traveling. Um, but um, my oldest male, King, he's a fucking dickhead. He don't like any male dogs. I mean, I can put him out with every 
female. He could come out with these two male puppies right now. He'd be straight. But once these dogs hit about eight months old, he wants to kill them uh, straight up. So uh, I take Marshall with me on the road just so, you know, there's no conflict while I'm away. You know, try to keep the house as peacefully as possible for the for the people that are helping my ass out while I'm fucking traveling the globe playing with puppies. <laughs> So, how, what do you bring it? What what do you bring it to uh, Allentown on January eighth? I'm, I'm waiting for my trifecta uh, daughter's paperwork to come in. If I get that in, I'm gonna bring her. So we'll be in we'll be in the six to nine together. Uh, yeah, I just mailed my papers out for Pup Smoke today. Did you? <laughs> Yeah, I did the I did the two day. To, I did the two day. The two yeah. day. So well, hopefully, keep her it, number. You know the puppy number. Keep that because yeah, uh, because I got uh, that same number. It's the same number when it comes back. So little, so little so the uh, oh, so you telling the public all of the public <laughs> little trick. If you're gonna so, show um, somebody, I mean, your shit's got to be registered because if you get there and they ask you for paperwork, you don't have any problem. I'm trying to see that you're my motivation for producing what pup smoke. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah, picking pup good. smoke. Yeah, she man. Good. She looks I mean, big. Wolf, I mean not wolf, sorry. Uh Trace, my trifecta daughter, she just started working for me like this week. Like she started stacking up. She's been kicking her kickstand out, doing the same yo, same shit her mother used to do to me. B lean on me and like put her leg out. I'm like, come on. You're killing me over here. So uh Trying to build their confidence. He looks all right. I mean, pup smoke looks better in my in my opinion. But we'll see if I could get him. I want to get a photo op. I go. I want the photo ops. Me and you in the ring. It's been a while since we've been in the ring together. Shit. Yeah, man, it's been a it's minute been a while since, since we... we've been a, been to a show together. I'm bringing shots fired. Just to be let known, I'm bringing shots fired. He will show in the grand champion class. So. I you might, I might show Marshall in the green. Depends who's there. Maybe throw him in for a couple or whatever. So Definitely gonna show him. So yeah, I ain't gonna. Just, I, I'm gonna bring him out there because people been asking me to bring him out, but I'm gonna bring him out. But you know, I feel like you know what the hell, you know, I'm out here, so I might as well. Yo, you just... had him on the stack box. That boy looked good. But he still Thank got you. it. He's crazy. We got longevity in the game. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm. I a. Hey, you know, I'm blessed to to have it like hey, that, but people hopefully people can talk shit all they want, right? Look at people can talk shit all they want. Oh, he bought a dog, he bought a dog. That's cool. You bought a dog. How many people how how all right, so just basically <laughs> how come you didn't buy a dog, the shit talker? Why didn't you buy a dog that you get in the ring and do this with? It because they're saying they're producing it. <laughs> they're saying they they Yeah, produce. right. You know, yeah, I could have easily yeah, kept yeah. mad. I could have easily kept Majesty. Majesty was my pick. Female. Yeah. You did keep her. You did but, keep her until it was time to show her. <laughs> and then you, you know, that up. Yeah, that's, I because I, I, I felt like because cool. Nubia went through her uh prolapse. So that's why I was yeah, like, yeah. you know what? Let me get something with world star blood in it, like directly. Yeah. You know, because that's the direction oh, I that I want to go. Your, that's been your, that's been your uh, MO since, since shit before Nubia, but that was the reason behind by Nubia. Yeah. And, and really, and the, the real reason is... People, are, is, people it, are lucky that that fucking dog fucking prolapsed, bro. They are lucky. <laughs> she could have won nationals. Do it, huh? She, she could have yeah. won nationals. When she was a puppy, we were whoa, North Carolina. We're in North yeah. Carolina. She was stomping ass. And, you know, she looked better than the dogs that were in the one to two. She was just moving. She was so nice. I mean, she's still nice, obviously. But she's still it's nice. January 8th, Jonathan. January 8th, oh, Allentown. Yes, I will be with Shots Fired. Y'all come out there. I can't, I don't even know what booth number we're going to be at. You know the booth number? Nah, we're ringside. It don't matter anyway. People always put their booth number, and then we go there, and we rip down the number, and we hang a banner. <laughs> Just look for the Duval banner. That's all. I need a copy of that that you have right there. I want to get that made into a 
band. Tone's like, I want something bright, bright, bright. I'm like, all right, but we already got it. I like that. I want to want to do a band like that. I like it because it's like a lounge behind me. Hell you yeah! You know what I'm saying? It's Your like it's bright. It's like you know, I'm the DJ that came in. <laughs> it looks like sequel. Way too early, oh. or I came in on the wrong day when nobody's coming in. It's a restaurant slash. <laughs> it's lounge in your uh, DJ dinner time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hey, now like, like I I I just like the um, I Go just ahead, like I to the, to I just boy. like to togetherness that we've had since we've been in the game, even when you were uh uh a part. Look at that one. Dog man, look at that dog, yo. Yo, I think the puppy we got, man, that little girl. Oh man, she looked good as hell. <laughs> She's a beast. I, and I know it's way too early. It's it's way too early, but dog, you can see yeah. you can see her crest. You can see a crest. Singleton you can see the muscles, bro. Watch. Have you had a singleton? Nah. Have you it's my it? first no? one. Oh, uh, yeah. Watch, bro. <laughs> Watch. Wolf, uh, uh, no, Trace, bro. After her brother died, I mean, she, they were only two weeks when, when he died, which left her alone. And you don't you don't get to leave them in the pen and let them chill for eight, nine weeks, you know what I mean, before you really start letting them get a feel of the house and shit because there's no brothers and sisters in there. So now they're running with the big dogs. That bitch was going up and down my stairs at four weeks. Like, down, uh, up Who's this? I've seen Who's like this? six, What's this? Old. What's this? Uh-huh. What's this? VA. I'm finna get you up out of here. This is some. Sorry. Block user. <laughs> what is it? I can't see it. It was saying some V something at text something. I don't know what that was. You can inbox me if you have a, a something, but I'm not gonna have that. Whatever that is, spamming. You yeah, can do that. I had somebody, I had someone do it on uh a get you up out of here quick. Needs, Anything uh, disrespectful, disrespecting, I'm I'm getting you up out of here. I don't care if we cool, I'll warn you. If we cool, I'll be like, look, even if we ain't cool, man, I'll, I'll let you know, you know, chill out. We ain't about that life right now, man. This is this is not a platform. For drama, really, it's a platform for truth. I know there's a thin line between drama and truth. I know the truth can create drama, but um, it on people's ego. Yeah, the definitely we 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 ego is definitely demolished here. This is a platform where we're we're trying to educate or we're trying to celebrate 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 people that have accomplished things that are being slept on like mr nick you know like he 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 like how many people you know in this game even the ogs there's not many that you know with within the time span that he's been in the game that's created as many title dogs as he's has and not been celebrated and brought up and uh, you know, hyped up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm hyping we'll, them up right now. We're hyping them up we'll right close. now. To see that Laura coming in, Shit, bro. That's like one of my biggest accomplishments right there. Is that someone who has shown in the ATC has been invited to? I think she. I think she's done eight. Um, eight uh, Westminsters. I think she's been invited to show at eight Westminsters, and. She did her research. She wants to get into bullies, and she came to me for a dog. <laughs> Shit, I was like, "What? All right." So, you know, to me, that's like, that's a, you know, just kind of humbling that someone who is involved with very, very established breeds knows her shit when it comes to showing dogs. Clearly, um, comes to me for a, for a dog because she wants to get into this breed. I was like, "Shit." I'm doing co with you. Let's go. I know she yeah, knows her. Go. I drove down. I drove. Oh, yeah, that's right. I linked y'all two up to go to uh, Jersey. All right? Yeah, she knows a lot, man. She is a very yeah. knowledgeable person to have on sure. a squad. I just had her, I just had, I, I just had her dog here. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess 
our dog. But yeah, she was just here while she was in Florida to visit her, uh, her father for Christmas and shit. So uh, I had her here for a little bit. That dog, she funny as hell. I'm like, yo, your dog don't listen to shit. Like, what, what kind of commands do you use? And she said like <laughs> this. Here, whoo, put her arm back and the dog just frees back. I was like, all right. So I guess I just <laughs> swing my arm around and get this dog to chill out because she hyper as hell. She's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, she ain't coming to me. I keep telling her, come, get over here. Come on. Like, she's like, oh, no, you here, here. Oh, I was like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't speak your language. Here, here, here she comes. Oh, 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 your dog is good, but yeah, she's close. She's close. She got a. I think she needs two majors, so hopefully she can champ out. And I'm gonna be handling Wolf's other sister. She's nice too. My boy Ryan bought her. I don't know if you've seen them yet. I'm excited for you to see them in person. Uh, you've obviously seen Lou. That's uh, Laura's dog that you traveled up there with. But yeah, she's doing all right. I, we got her in the classic class right now. When she blow up, she'll, she'll be a standard. So, so, what? How, what is your goal for titling in in twenty twenty two? What does it look like realistically? I want. I kind of. I mean, I, I'm going for it. I want to see what I can do with Wolf in the Champ class. Uh, That'll be six. Grander. If I can grander, that's cool. Um, Those two dogs um, that you got that I've seen, if they turn out like them things are the hogs. These two? If, these two right here? Yeah, that's the three. Bones? Yeah. That's three. <laughs> then 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 you got you get you you does they're co owned with with Cheeto. With Laura. Our kennel our kennel oh, partner. Cheeto. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think dude, I like I said, I kept my hands on everything off. That's the four. So uh, that'll be within Six years within seven years, that would be nine champions and two grand yeah. champions. Do you I understand? Think, uh, Do you understand? I think, I think Laura's gonna get it with her dog, and I know, I know, I'm gonna do damage with uh, with Ryan's dog in the pocket class. She's really nice. She just like got, wolf, uh, this ain't wolf. spades. This ain't spades. But you got four possibles. Yeah, easy. Uh one, two, three. Uh, the bitch in California, man, she's going to champ out, too. I know she is. That's five, That's five man. <laughs> I know she is. Um, I'll see what happens with these two here, but I think, I think I'll think i obviously you know, put in the work to get it with my boy here. Um, and then when I do that breeding with Soldier, shit. I can only imagine what that's going to be. Your, your work yeah. needs to your work needs to be um celebrated man like what you've done I and what you're going to possibly yeah i'm saying <laughs> i celebrated before you, the under show you understand you understand what i'm saying <laughs> there's a lot of people that get attention that don't actually deserve that attention i feel because how we we're actually doing it, we do it a certain way in the show world. And I'm gonna say this real quick. Let me let me say you know this real I mean? quick, Nick. Go ahead. In my world, if your dog is not a champion, grand champion, hunting for a champion title, or if you're not best in show, yeah. best in breed, if you're not doing things like that, what are you? Yeah, doing? you might have a nice dog. Yeah, your dog might produce nice dogs, but what is it actually doing? Like, okay, should I say yeah, it, man? Well, should I, I say it? Should should I say it? <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking right now, so I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a dog. It's a dog named after another country that you know that 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 people kind of hype up right you know and the owner said you know basically says he's the king of that you know king of whatever you know he's top of the game of you know breeding dogs you know I'm not but i don't know i mean i'm just trying to dogs. keep it a hundred trying, trying to keep it a buck but but you're trying to keep it a buck if if are you the king of today. breeding pet home dogs like there's I mean, a difference shit. There's a difference. If you're breeding, to me, I don't respect that. That's cool. No, that, that, I mean, that's cool. That in itself is just adding to the 
you know, the number of dogs out there. I mean, exactly. But you know, breeding with a purpose is my whole thing all the time. I'm breeding to the standard. I'm trying to breed, you know, show quality dogs. It's just, it's just the way it is for me. Not like that for everybody, unfortunately. But I mean, if they're in the community and we know who they are and they're out there doing their thing and they're contributing to the show ring, I mean, I don't really see anything wrong with it. I know a lot of people who breed that, you know, put their dogs in handlers' hands and handlers' homes and let them do their thing with the dogs. Um, which There's is, a lot of dogs you know, that's the, that should be in the show ring that's not in the show ring. Yeah, a lot of American I mean, well, bullies that's 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 not in the show ring that are be, are are great are uh, national winner dogs that's not in the oh, show yeah, ring. Alibi, for sure. Get out of there. Come here. Little shithead. You know, so so you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not downing people who have nice dogs, but I'm asking what are you doing with that dog? Like it doesn't. Some people, it's just not for some people. Like I said, shit, I almost didn't even. But is that my fault though? Is that my? Can you call that dog a king just for producing a nice dog or a dog? That's cool if he's producing that. But if you're just getting people who are breeding to your dog just to produce nice dogs and not do anything, try to follow in the footsteps of grand champion marshall mathers if people aren't trying to follow in the footsteps of what that dog listen people are breeding to grand champion marshall mathers because they're trying to do what he's done and follow the path of titling their dog of what you know what i'm saying it's not it's not i i have more respect for a dog that's a champion that's producing oh that's over instead of a dog that is not a champion that's not i respect have respect for a dog that's not even a title dog or that's not even one a ribbon that can that's produced champion and title dogs yeah, after yeah. grand champion that is a lot of respect man there's a lot of respect there's certain aspects when you come into it but you know but again it goes back to getting getting the dogs in the right hand that the most promising dog goes into the most promising home because a lot of times life happens get the fuck out of there little shit come here a lot of times life happens and fucking screws up people's plans you know i've had it happen with like three martial puppies they were all the same house and my dude's going through a divorce and da 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 and you know breaking up the home and he's moving out Sell a couple dogs, uh, you know, shit And unfortunately, you know, those were the <clears throat> most promising dogs. It wasn't my breeding. I didn't sell them to puppies, but I did sell them to stud feeds. Um, shit happens. I get it. But, you know, I think we're more talking about the people who never try to do shit. That yeah, that's where in the whole, I, I got numb to like people that that people fall off too man you know what i mean like just people fall off shit happens yo how many people like yo let's like i wish there was a picture of everybody from the first show in allentown that we went to right like every person that walked in the door that day and then you compare it and and just look at it and be like yo how many of these people aren't coming out anymore at all like you never you haven't seen them in years people fall off that's not our People fault. Fall off. But no, I know. I'm, what I'm saying is, I think, I think that it's outstanding that we have the longevity in this. We're lucky. And shit, we're not lucky, I'm man. This is not. This is not it's luck. Hard work. I get it. This is not luck. <laughs> hard work. It ain't luck, it's man. Work. I'm not get. I mean, some of it is luck, man. But most of this is yeah, hard I mean, work. What we've done, is, man. It's definitely hard work. But if you don't have the fucking product. To Put in the ring that's gonna get you that W. It was luck in the beginning, so man. It was luck. Sure how everything, how, how everything lined up was 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 luck. How everything aligned was luck. You know how we got yeah. together. How you know Waffle House. 
how he like all of this, all of that was divine. I guess divine purpose. I wouldn't say that was luck. It's just the I kind of don't believe in luck, man. I believe in the I divine mean, purpose, man. If it was meant to happen, it was meant to happen, man. You know, I don't believe in in really in luck. I believe in divine good purpose. It's good timing, yeah. and then uh, just, it was a so it was a good vibe. Like we always had a good vibe, no matter what. So everything I thought you was good. I thought you was good with where you was at. That's why I was like, I mean, you know, I thought, Gerard, I thought I was too, but <laughs> you know, that door closed quick. I thought I was golden where I was. And, you know, just shit. Again, life happened. People wanted to stop breeding exotics. That's fine. Like Danny had done the show thing so long. Uh, I think he got jaded with it. Then he started a farm and now he's got horses and did a couple exotic breedings and uh so he wasn't going to shows no more and he had a big following he still does have a big following um you know because like who in new england who in new england has accomplished what you've accomplished with uh with american bullies i don't, I don't know <laughs> i don't know that's because there is none that's there that's because there is none i mean uh maybe nano and them I don't know what he has for produced champions and shit, but uh, Nano, like you know, yes. and then they started, Let's, they yep. started going, uh, you know, to uh, to the smaller side of things. Micro, which I told him, yeah, I told him the other day. I was like, bro, can you come to Allentown? He goes, I need a dog to show. I was like, come on by, I got one for you. <laughs> I got this puppy over here. Take he's a beast, but, uh, yo. He's people sleep on Nano, man. He's man, that yo, dude he was is... like one of the first people that I talked to at a show. Not knowing anybody, and I didn't want to show Marge because her fur was all screwed up. And he's like, "Man, you're not to show her anyway." He's like, "You'll go in there and win." Hey, cut it out! But you actually ended up sweeping that show with uh, with uh, uh, Siren. The, that was the show. I know people that. used to be on the sidelines. There's people that told me years later that when <laughs> when I came in with her. Yo, her gate was just serious. It just oh, was yeah. like, but guess who else? Guess who got a get? Guess who got a gate like that? Who that? You? <laughs> you when you go up? There. <laughs> Pup smoke. Pup smoke got a gate like that. Yeah. Um, like my trifecta bitch, she moved a little too close in the rear for my liking. But we'll see what she does out there. I want to go out there and just get some pictures of me doing the ring together. I miss that shit. Hey, stop chewing that. We'll yeah, it's it. been a minute. It's going to be fun. This is going to be some fun. Bro, you know what I haven't fun. heard in a long time? Like, Duval, when we win, bro. I was like, shit, I was thinking about that at Nationals. I was like, God damn. I wish everybody was here. <laughs> and yeah, I I'm wish on... everyone was here. I'm, I want to hear I'm... that Duval. I'm blessed that I'm gonna try to, you know, my wife is giving me the the leeway to try to do this, man, because uh she's yeah, taking care of the to... pup as we speak right now, you know. Like, okay, check this out. This was Oh, like, she's not she's still not lactating. Yeah, she finally lactated. Yo, yeah. fen- fennel seeds. Fen- oh yeah. We know where to get all of I know where to get any like any not any but most of the stuff that you need for um uh herbs yeah fresh i know where to get them from word yeah so you put her on the fennel seeds yeah i ground up those fennel seeds because i looked that's they say fennel seeds at the uh, top but did they put that in sausage don't they like the little yeah little seeds and sausage it's beneficial. It's beneficial for uh, there's there's some. My wife bought uh this book and it's herbal remedies for dogs. And we was pulling off from the place and she opened it and she's like, <laughs> we did a Yui man. It was like, hey, you got this. They were like, yeah, you know. So oh, so uh, hey, yo, so Tony coming. <laughs> yo, I told Tony her I was like, yo, you a beast. She showed me the book. I was like, yo, what the? I don't. Man. <laughs> I just had to both give her it to her. Man, Jan, was... both, got on, both got on my post and they were like, they they agreed with me about uh, you know, 
my pick of the litter over here. Dejani got on it. She was like, that one. I was like, yup. And then Tony's like, I like the little one for his own reasons, but I have more reasons to like the bigger one. I was like, yeah, I'm with you. You know, Dejani, you, you know, Dejani's right because she's going into law school next year. <laughs> She'll argue her point. You can't argue. You can't <laughs> argue with her. She's going to argue her point. <laughs> that puppy yeah. right there is the best one. Listen, I I was looking at another dog. I wasn't looking at Majesty. You know, Tony. Oh, I, oh, I know. Yo, Tony know. Her was just like, yo, is this is this dog right here? And I was just like, uh, you had the best name for her too. I just, that was the best name. The best name. Yeah, we're gonna name another dog that. Uh, that's why I'm not even gonna say what it was, but that was the best name. I, I, I'm waiting for the day that you do. So I told I Tony, my, my, I'm trying to create my Magneto's Malcolm X with Pup Smoke and Shots right, Fire. You've been holding on to that name for a hot minute, too. That was supposed yeah, to come. Yeah, for like, with, uh, like four years. Yeah, it was supposed to come with Nubia. Yeah. I've been holding that name for four years, man. We've been waiting for just the right dog. We don't want to just, you know, yeah. just say. You can't waste names. <laughs> yeah, you can't waste, can't waste no names, names man. Bro. Especially special Hell names no. that you feel are special. You can't, yeah. you can't just, you can't just waste them. And we, we, we did on. that. Well, we did that with Anubis because Tony loves the name Anubis, but we don't have a yeah. show day, dog named Anubis, so we can do that. You know, so it can still, we can still, and we can put a twist on it. You know, because I got Anubis yeah. on my, I got Anubis on my arm right here. So, but not. Man, I I want to thank you for coming on, Nick. Man, and yo, I appreciate uh, it, bro. Yo, man, I'm honored. I'm honored to have you as a friend. I'm honored to have you as a Likewise, general partner, bro. bro. And it's, it's what you've done, and what weekend. and the future that you have ahead of you. I'm telling you, by the time you're you're done with this, that there's gonna what I you accumulated as far as success. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be unmatched, man, and and I I, I it's just gonna be excited to come along for the ride and watch watch all of it happen. But I love you, fam. I love you too, bro. I appreciate you having yes. me on. And, uh, I I'm, I already said it, bro. I can't wait. For, I can't wait for next weekend, bro. I cannot wait for next weekend. Back in the ring, baby. All right, fam. Back in the battle. All right, bro. So bees, yes sir. You take it easy. No problem. Yes, sir. Hi, bro. Good All right, fam. Yep. 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 Thank you. Later. You too, man. Yep. Yep. So, yo, second show. That's listen. I meant it when I said we're gonna we're gonna turn up. We're gonna turn this up. So I'm gonna find some guests. You know, I'm gonna be on a hunt. Y'all got some people that you think? Um, I'm not just gonna interview anybody. These people have to be. Uh, have done something in the game, title dogs, produce title dogs that other people have shown that, you know, that is, you know, a good amount, you know, even if it's three or four, you know, that's an accomplishment in my book. So if you have anybody that, that even if it's in the AKC, you know, uh, UKC, it doesn't matter, ABKC, BRC, anybody that has those dogs that have uh, success that you feel that isn't getting play, that isn't getting the stage that they deserve to have, please, man, holla at me. Link us so I can bring these people on so they can get the proper due that they deserve because there's a lot of people, even some of y'all might be looking, you know what I'm saying, that's done things in this game. Hit me up, man, you know, that have done things in this show this show world that um, that matter, that, that needs to be celebrated because – let this be the history book. Let this be the mark where people comes come back and look and say, look, uh, No Bullish Podcast had an interview with this dude, this guy, this guy. And you can learn from uh, these people because at the end of the day, a lot of gems of being dropped when I do these interviews from very successful breeders, from very successful uh, uh, show people judges that's going to be coming up uh uh um women i'm gonna have pre on uh soon we're gonna set that up because uh she's one of the backbones 
of one of the most successful uh, show dog breeders, Frenchie dog breeders in the ABKC. Um, so I want to have a special um, segment for like a whole month to the women in the American uh, bully community. So I want to have something very special, uh, even longer than that. If we could do two months with uh, the uh, women of the American bully community, because a lot of these women are um, are backbones, man. They're taking care of children, cooking, cleaning, taking care of dogs, going out to the shows, busting ass. Much respect. Some of them ain't even uh, showing. Some people are just behind the scenes, you know, and shout out to these people. But Pre is going to be uh, one of the first women that I want to have on the show. That's the backbone to uh, the program that they have going over there, the Frenchie Connection and the American Bully program that Tone Rodan and Pre Rodan have going on. So I definitely, man, what's going on with that? Dorothy. I'll block user from there. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus. Put user on timeout. Hey, you on timeout, Dorothy. Jeez, man. But uh, like I was saying, um, I want to interview people, judges. Uh, I want to bring, this is what I promised to bring to the public, education, uh, enlightenment, uh, the misunderstood to be, uh, to bring some knowledge to the people of how these people really, or who these people really are. Like Ashton Edwards, our first interview, there was people that hit me up that thought the man was a drug dealer, man. The man works a graveyard shift, you know, at a steel company, you know, and he works hard. You know, the dude does real estate. The dude does more than just dogs, man. You know, and people, he was misunderstood. And just having him on um, shed it light on who he truly was and what these dogs really mean to him. And, and it just, I don't want to say I did it, but I want to create a platform that these people deserve. He deserves that. He deserves all of the celebration that he gets when I, uh, when he comes on this platform, Nick, people like Nick, people like Tone, and the people that I'm gonna have on for the future, sincerely are gonna be celebrated for what they have done and what they accomplished in this game. It doesn't matter if it's American bullies, it doesn't matter if it's French bulldogs. We can understand what the work and how much work it takes to be at the top or climb to the top or to even produce a champion. There's, there's people that I've, I know that haven't produced a champion. You know, they have that, they have this dog that they've been showing for three, four years that just became a champion, you know, and, and, and we all know these people. You know, but it's it's a hard, long road if if you don't know what you're doing. You know, if if you're if you don't know how to reset, especially and say, yo, let me start over. Some people don't want to waste. They feel like they're wasting time by starting over. No, you're wasting time by going on. Doing what you're doing and getting the same results, expecting something great. It's called insanity. So we all need to uh, do a little bit better, you know. But I'm going to end with that. Y'all take it easy, man. Y'all stay blessed. This is my last show for 2021. I will see y'all on the other side, 2022. Y'all have a blessed New Year's. I love all of y'all. And like I said, Please send these people my way. Inbox me on my Facebook, my Instagram. You'll see my Instagram feed right there, Duval Bullies 401 um, We have a new sponsor as well, Mo and Moabitis Creations. Company I heard that's going to do really big things. 
LLC, Moa Moa Bodies Creations LLC. Uh, I heard they're going to do really big things. Uh, anybody going to Allentown, come check me out. Come check out Pub Smoke. Come check out Shots Fired. I love y'all. Uh, have a blessed New Year's. Hold up. I don't want to play the same one. That'll be easy. Front line till the 